How's it going, folks? Matt Vanacoro here, and I'm going to take you through some of my favorite Sierra features. So if you've upgraded to the new Mac OS operating system, you want to look at what's new, I'm going to dive in with you and check it out. First thing, the probably the biggest, is that Siri is now available on the Mac OS desktop. If you have an iMac, MacBook Pro, or Mac Pro, Mac Mini, whatever, any device running Mac OS, you can now use Siri just like you can on an iOS device. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to System Preferences, and I'm going to open up the Siri settings to get it going on my desktop. So right now you've got an Enable or Disable Siri. So you can globally enable or disable it, and it'll let you know security-wise what's going on when you do that. You can pick a separate mic input for Siri, and that's really important because a lot of us have multiple audio interfaces. You might have a recording studio interface, or maybe your laptop is closed and away while it's clamshell mode connected to a desktop monitor. So you might want to have a different audio input, maybe from your monitor or a separate microphone. So in my case, I'm using a separate microphone. It'll hear me very clearly. There's a keyboard shortcut choice as well. You can customize, but you can also use some of the default ones. I actually like the default ones, command space, some nice big buttons so I can quickly hit it and hold it and bring up Siri. So if I do that, hold command and space. Hi Siri, how are you doing today? I'm happy as a happy Mac. Now, if you don't want to hear Siri responding to you, you can actually use Siri and not have it talk out loud, but still work. And that's the voice feedback option right here. So you can click off and talk to Siri once again. What's the weather like in Florida, Siri? So as you can see, Siri will work and display the data for you, but not necessarily say it out loud. It's great if you're in an office environment or something like that. You can change the voice right here to American, British, Irish, South African. And of course, you can change the language of Siri to all the different available languages. Now, you also have a choice of whether or not to see Siri in your menu bar. So if you don't want to use the command shortcut, you can check or uncheck that and show Siri up here. And as soon as you click it in the menu bar, you've got access to Siri. It so those are the different ways you can enable and disable Siri. Of course, you could put Siri in your dock as well. And you can call her up just by using that command shortcut. Now that you know how to get Siri activated, Let's talk about the different things you can do with Siri.